Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 67, Application of Entity Permissions. The access to create, read, update, or delete records via Power Apps Portals is controlled using Entity Permissions. Entity Permissions are different from the security rules that are used to control record access in the Common Data Service. Entity Permissions are applied to a number of different areas in Power Apps Portals. Entity permissions are enforced for anything done in Liquid, including fetch XML queries. For entity lists, entity forms, and web form steps, the enforcement of entity permissions is optional. Each of these have an Enable Entity Permissions option to let you choose your desired behavior. Note that for entity lists, if entity permissions are enabled, the security trimming is applied on top of any filtering included as part of the view. Also of note, the out-of-the-box SharePoint integration with Entity Forms does require properly configured Entity Permissions. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 67 on the application of Entity Permissions useful.